Before the operation, the takeoff and landing points should be checked in detail. An open area with a flat ground should be selected as the takeoff and landing point. Takeoff and landing on a road with crowded people is strictly prohibited. Obstacles in the work area should be checked. Obstacles like trees and power poles should be checked and planned on the remote controller. After basic check for field, start the pre-flight inspection for the drone. Unfold the aircraft, secure the clasps, extend the propellers, and move them vertically and horizontally to check the tightness of the propellers. If they are too loose or too tight, adjustments should be made. If the washers are found to be severely worn, they should be replaced promptly. At the same time, pay attention to observe whether the propellers have any cracks, deformations, etc. You can fold the two propeller blades together, if they fit tightly together vertically, then it is normal. Otherwise, it may result in abnormal power and pose a higher safety risk. Shake the drone body to check the landing gear screws. If shaking the fuselage results in horizontal swaying, it indicates that the landing gear or drone body screws are loose. Use a screwdriver to tighten the screws, then recheck the fuselage. When there is no swaying upon shaking the fuselage, proceed with flight operations. Do not ignore this issue and continue to fly. Prepare to install the battery, ensuring that the aircraft battery is fully charged. Check the drone's power distribution board for any black or green oxidation or corrosion. If found, replace it promptly. When installing the battery, insert it from above and listen for a clear click sound to confirm that the battery is securely installed. Check the remote controller to ensure that the battery is sufficiently charged. It is advisable to operate with more than one LED on. The antennas should be oriented correctly, avoiding pointing directly at the aircraft as this position results in the weakest signal strength from the remote controller. Turn on the remote controller and confirm that the joystick mode is set to your usual mode. If not, make the necessary adjustments. Short press and then long press the battery power button to turn on the agricultural drone's power. Confirm that the aircraft is receiving signals from at least 15 satellites. If the RTK is enabled, the display should show the number of RTK satellites. Before takeoff, Stand at the rear of the aircraft and maintain a safe distance of more than 6 meters from the drone. It is prohibited to stand on either side of the drone or in front of the aircraft, as this poses a safety hazard. Manually unlock the drone for takeoff. If a warning pop-up appears on the remote controller, re-observe whether the clasps are locked securely. Do not blindly click confirm and force the drone to take off. When manually taking off or landing, it is important to operate the controls gently and smoothly. Violent and abrupt control inputs should be avoided. Agricultural drones have larger bodies and respond more slowly. For the first use or after a long period of inactivity, an agricultural drone should undergo a flight status check. After starting the propellers, take off and maintain a height of about 2.5 meters to get accustomed to the control stick sensitivity and to check whether the drone's attitude is normal before proceeding to the next step. If the drone shows abnormal shaking or unresponsive control inputs, it should be landed promptly to troubleshoot and resolve the issue. After completing the above checks and confirming that there are no abnormalities, add the pesticide. Ensure that the area around the aircraft and the operation zone is safe and free of people before commencing work.